Today we're going to take this old Dutch oven and we're going to turn it from this to this. And we're going to do it the easy way. As you can see, it's it's pretty dirty. Um, set out for a while. You know, I bought this thing. I bought it here a while back for I don't know ten or fifteen dollars, and it's in good shape. It's just it's rusty. It needs cleaned up. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put it in the grill, let it sit for about two hours, and come back and and let it cool off. All right, we got the grill fired up. Uh, we got it warmed up. You could do this in your kitchen if you wanted to, but I choose to do it outside. It's easier. I'm while well, I'm working on. The house back here it's not finished so i'm living in an rv i don't want to do this inside so we're going to heat the grill up it's up to about 500 degrees we're going to put this dutch oven in there for about two hours okay so it's been a couple hours um, dutch oven's cooled off now now we're going to get to cleaning and all we're going to use is a little bit of cleaning vinegar a little scotch bright scrubby pad a little stainless steel scrubby pad Okay, as you can see, it's um, it came pretty clean. Um, we'll get it scrubbed up a little more and wash it up real good with a scrub brush and we'll be ready to start seasoning it. Okay, now we're gonna start the seasoning process. What I do is, I'll, after I'll go in there, I took it back inside and I wash it down with soap and water, make sure there wasn't any loose rust or anything left on it. Dried it off, brought it back out here, wiped it down with vinegar again. Put it back in here. Now we got it set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna let it go for uh, 15, 20 minutes. That's gonna drive off any moisture. Once that's gone, then we're gonna open it back up. We're just gonna take regular old shortening, uh, Crisco. You can use vegetable oil, uh, any kind of vegetable oil really work. I always use Crisco because I don't know, it's just what I've always used. And then we'll put it back in there, 350 degrees. Some people say an hour, two hours. I never go by time. I, when it stops smoking, 
I take it out and do it again. I just keep repeating the process until I have it, you know, the way that I, I want it, the way I like it. So uh, we'll let it warm up. I'll pull it out and we'll look at it. There's really nothing more to it than that. You just, you heat it up, uh, you let it go till it stops smoking. Uh, I leave it at between 300 and 350. Sometimes it takes, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. Bring it out, let it cool down till you can touch it with your bare hands. Put some more, you know, whatever oil you want, whether you want vegetable oil, Crisco, lard, whatever you're using. Put a nice even coat back on it, throw it back in there and do it again. Do it uh, two, three times, many times you want till you get a, you know, a nice coating that's that's baked on there, and that's it. You're done. Put it up. It'll sit there in the in the cupboard forever. Um, it's it's the old nonstick. It's the original nonstick. So I hope some of you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.